people who have to live for this almost being on social media right now and learning from him. I mean, like, I feel like he's one of the best coaches out there. Uh, just with him for the game and knowledge. So learning from him. He taught me how to prepare real well for the game. Not just me, but my teammates. Uh, and I feel like it really showing up on the field. I mean, we're making some plays defensively. Uh, special team and offense on offense. But as far as defensively, we're really doing real well. I think we need to come the intercepts. And that was the main thing we came into the season on. We kept talking about was the turnover ratio. Like, yeah, the offense, uh, four of us made a turnover ball a couple of times. We had to go out there and, and get it back for them. We're doing real well. But, uh, just, just learning from Coach Peter is a real, a real blessing. And I thank you. Appreciate you being excited. I just want to say that I think that uh, our last game, I think we did, is probably one of the most balanced uh, wins, most solid wins I've ever been. Like um, Brad almost threw for 300 yards. On special teams, we had two punts down inside the five. Our defense was had multiple interceptions, so I mean, I think we all just worked with the team last week, and I um, think that we uh, we really celebrated that, and it was a solid win, and now we're focused on Southeastern homecoming, and um, in 2008, when I first got here, we lost to Southeastern, and it, that game turned out to be the one that cost me a championship ring, so Every time we play Southeastern, it's, um, it's a little something special, a little something added to it. So, um, we uh, uh, just focus on, on the next game and uh, I'm, ready to, I'm ready to win and get a ring. One thing I want to uh, emphasize on today is just our team, uh, as far as like our togetherness. Uh, as far as outside the locker room, you may not know, but inside the locker room, what you see in our office, what you see in our locker room, everybody pulling for each other. When I'm out there on the field, uh, I mean, sometimes you have you know, a rough series as a quarterback, and uh, not one time have I ever heard somebody complaining or putting their head down. And that's probably the first time I've ever been playing football that I've ever been part of a team that doesn't get down as soon as something goes wrong. And when stuff like that happens, then you be a leader because you know the guys around you are positive about what you're trying to get done. So it's a lot easier for you to help lead this team. And I think that's been a part of me being a great leader. Before I got here, I never been much, much of a vocal leader, but when, uh, when I got here, I just felt like it was it was it was the reason I was here. It was the reason that I was here at Northwestern Natchez. I never heard of it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, take it back. I'm, Coach P, uh, Coach Cooley first came uh, to Scuba to get me. Uh, Coach Cooley walked right past me, and uh, the coach said, hey, we got a quarterback here. There's a DVD watching. The coach went, I don't want a quarterback. I don't want a quarterback. Like, like, like that. And then uh, I got a chance to talk to Coach Cooley. Uh, we got a chance to do, uh, talk a little one-on-one. And from there, it just started from there. Uh, coach P and Coach Cooley stayed on me a lot. And I think that would help me get here because of their personality. And, when, when you figure out a guy really wants you to come in and help you with this team, that, you know, that's really, you know, got me here. Because uh, I had opportunities on the Southeast, but they called me a lot. But the way Coach P and Coach Cooley recruited me, I felt like I was going here and it was the reason I should be here. And uh, when I'm out there on the field, uh, I don't look at them as teammates. I look at them as my brother because I'm down here by myself. It's my first time in Louisiana. I don't have any family down here, and it's all I got is my team and my coaches. So when I go out there, I play just as hard for them, just like I would, or do something as my family at home. And that's how I am with the community around here. Everybody taking me in and uh, showed me a lot of support, which has helped. You know, which helped me a lot, and I like to thank y'all for that. And uh, this next game against Southeastern is homecoming, and it's great. It's you know, it's a you know, great opportunity to go out in front of our fans and play. But it's the next conference game, and that's really number one on my agenda. It's a conference game. And you know, we're trying to get things done, which is a conference championship. We're trying to get this team over the hump, which I think, you know, we made great strides in this season. And um, I think this weekend will be uh, great because I think we finally, finally, finally got everything in place as far as offense and defense and special team. When you got a good special team, like, uh, say, we get the ball down in the five, inside the five, 
I mean, it's a house if you play quarterback, but, you know, drive the ball, you know, 95 yards down the field, which is, you know, low percentage team, you know, it's a low percentage that you'll drive your team 95 to score. But when you got to, you know, got to get a couple yards, you got a great front like Nick that can switch the field position, you got a great defense that can hold them down there. And uh, just like that, we can switch, you know, we can switch field. Now I got the ball, like, on, the, on our 40, now I got a 60-yard drive to go. And it helps a lot. And uh, Coach P said something about me being a defensive level. A lot, you know. One, me being here is like I just the best defense I ever played quarterback for. And when you go out there and you know that, I know that quarterback gonna have a hard time because I know I have a hard time every day. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you got you got defense alignment, you know, like I was there, quick and fast off the ball, and uh, uh, defensive backs that intercept the ball just like that. I mean, I'm out there like yeah. Every time the quarterback throws the ball in the air, I'm like, yes, it's an interception. So I'm grabbing my own, uh, ready to get on the field. When we create turnovers like that, it's so great you can go out there and just play kind of loose, knowing that you know you got a defense on the sideline that you ain't have to worry about putting up that many points to win the game. And I think it's going to help me a lot in the part of you going out there playing comfortable a lot. And I really got, I really bought into what uh, Coach Cousy uh, got for his offense and uh, the guys around. Uh, when I first got here, I played behind his offensive line, I was kind of fidgety back there. But it's uh, just, <laughs> just like, you know, just like anything, you just got to get adapted to the uh, surroundings, like your receivers and uh, the guys around. And uh, I think it's going to help us a lot. And I think we finally, you know, we finally started clicking. And I think it's going to be great from uh, here on out. My name is Chase Steph. I'm from Paul, Louisiana. Uh, I'm Logan McCain. This is definitely an honor. I didn't expect it. I just uh, tried to be friendly with everyone. And, it just came as a surprise. But uh, first of all, I want to say, Coach Bill, you're doing an awesome job. I'm a cheerleader, and every time, every game, I look forward to watching the game. I get in trouble all the time for Amy because she would tell me to cheer or something, but I'm watching the game. I'm into it. <laughs> but uh, it's something I look forward to every weekend. It's my favorite time of the year. I love football season. Uh, but uh, this game, especially, is going to be big for me. I get to be more, a, little, a little more involved in it, so that's awesome. But uh, I love MSU. It's blessed me more than I ever, ever could ask for. And uh, I'm excited. This weekend will be awesome. So thank you all again for coming. Okay, um, everyone, my name is Ruth Bruget. I'm from Kinder, Louisiana, and I'm a junior at the Louisiana Scholars College. And I made Chase go first because he always talks about how bad he is at speaking, so I thought I would look better if I put him first. But that <laughs> definitely didn't work. He just failed me for that. But <laughs> I just want to say I'm just completely honored to be the homecoming queen this year. Um, like he said, you just try to be friendly to everyone, and it's just a joy to know that your student body just recognizes you for that. Um, I want to say good luck to our football team this year. I love Northwestern football. And to be honest, we dominated Southeastern last year, so it's, there's no doubt in my mind that we're going to be again this year. Um, our players are amazing. You just saw a little glimpse of who our players are, and they're definitely amazing men here on campus. And I just want to say good luck to you all again. There's no doubt in my mind that we're not only going to bring home another Southeastern victory, another homecoming victory, and another conference win. So. Thank you all for being here and supporting the Northwestern State Eagles. But look at the teams we played. There ain't many losses in there. Delta State's lost one. LSU's lost none. Best team maybe not even in the country ever in college football. These guys can do it. SMU's lost one to A&M. They played A&M today. They played half a game with a guy that's not even playing quarterback for them. Uh, McNeese State's lost two. One was to Kansas. Uh, Lamar was three and one. So our schedule has been a it's been a darn good schedule. So uh, you know if we could go in right four and three, get healthy, get healed, and then have a have really four games left, only three conference games, uh, two of them at home, uh, I like the chances. And I like the focus of our team. So uh, the thing I told them about yesterday, the first thing I said is Nickel State 37 7. <laughs> would you ever thought that would have happened, guys? Anybody in this room thought that? I'm still not over that. I still have nightmares about that game because I can't, still can't figure out what happened. Except I didn't have to ready to play, we didn't play very good. And it's not, was that my exact word yesterday, Brad? <clears throat> exactly what I told him. And, and every coach, we do a scout report, uh, the coordinators do on Tuesday. They, every coach had a different angle about not letting the Southeastern sneak up on us because they're a very good football team that's just struggling winning games. 
but they can come in here and they can get your socks off if you're not ready to go. So anyway, we will be looking forward to it. And again, talking to you next week. We have this next week, though. We have one. I, I want to set the table four and three. We're catching our breath, and uh, you know, it was a great win. So that we, we need that. And uh, I, I really think we, we got to take them one at a time, but we put ourselves in position. We win this one. To, you know, somebody else beats somebody else up, and uh, you know, uh, it's laid out there for us. And we can start taking care of business week by week. Yes. Take the field. Our demons never yield. Fight. Demons win tonight. Victory is on our side. Go fight, win for gold and white.